Three things my husband and I have done that are considered weird by most people, but have kept us married for 18 years and counting. So for context, you need to know my husband's two biological parents and my two biological parents, those four humans have a total of nine divorces, nine. So we knew we wanted something different than we had been modeled, differently than what we saw on TV. So we started reading books and learning from people a lot smarter than us. And the first weird thing we did is we decided to live debt-free. And when we first got married, all of our friends were buying brick homes in the suburbs and brand new cars. And we were living in a teeny tiny little duplex, putting everything that I was making away and living off his youth pastor salary, which wasn't very much. And people were like, Katie, why don't you guys do what we're doing? You guys are weird. But those years that we were so weird, we paid off $20,000 worth of debt and were able to put a down payment on the first home that we bought together. The next weird thing we did is we decided not to have sex before marriage. A lot to unpack here, obviously, but here's the thing. I used to think that God said to wait to have sex before marriage because he was like a killjoy or he didn't want us to have any fun. I don't know, but it turns out our good and loving father wants what is best for us. And he who created us knows what's better for us than reality TV and Cosmopolitan magazine. Shocking. And it turns out he's right. Who knew? The last thing we do that's really weird is we don't drink. So both of us have a history of alcoholism in our family. And my husband's philosophy is if that is in my biology to become an alcoholic, I don't even want to explore that option. And I so respect that. For me, I have one every now and then when we go on vacation or something, but it's just not part of our lives. And you know what? A lot of people say we're weird, but here's what I know. Normal is addicted, overweight, unhealthy, unhappy, divorced, and depressed. I don't want to be normal. Is this the only way to have a long and healthy marriage? No, of course not. But if we want relationships that are better than what we see around us, if we want to beat that 50% divorce rate, then we need to date and do marriage in a different kind of way. And that means people might say that you're weird, to which I would say, you're not alone. Cheers to being weird.